There's my family. Yeah, we have a lot of money, and that's because I did irresponsible things, and I went to Gamba, and I lost a thousand dollars, and then I gambled seven hundred dollars, and I got four, and I got fourteen hundred dollars. Oh, that's what happened. Got docket to do. We're on our next case. I'm trying to be a corrupt cop. My probability of arrest is going so high, though, and my probability of getting assassinated is increased. This is the crazy part. So. Okay, um, let's read the damn court case. So this guy is Ahmed, or Ahmad, Ahmad, L, E, male, so no criminal record, mental health is fine. Human trafficking, goodness gracious, these cases are getting worse and worse every day. Uh, so late at night, while the police were inspecting at the border of the city of whatever that is, a person named Ahmad did not comply with the stop warning and tried to bypass. Okay. Uh, police officers pursued the vehicle driven by him uh, who fled the police stop. Uh, as a result of a long chase, the person who entered a gas station got out of the vehicle and tried to escape on foot while the police detained... Oh, was caught and detained by the police after a while. Large number of foreign nationals were detected in the vehicle. Ew. Okay, so I'm mad. Uh, I am aware that it is dangerous and forbidden for me to do this work, but I was unemployed and penniless for a very long time, so I had to do it. The work and the process was very difficult for me, and I was so nervous that when I saw the police officer, I panicked and tried to run away. It was all to show my family that I could earn some money. I'm aware of my guilt. I, ex I accept it. I am very sorry. So this guy knows he's human trafficking. He just admitted to it. Okay, well, the evidence? Nothing. No evidence, no recordings, no... Oh, here we go, camera. Yeah, this is you, G. This is a big case. What do you got to say for yourself? Uh, did your family know about your actions and job due to financial constraints and embarrassment? No, Your Honor, I haven't been doing this for a long time. I needed money urgently and I wanted to do this because it's fast money. Uh, why did you want to get- why couldn't you get a regular job? That's a good question. I tried, but the conditions of the job I worked were very difficult and employers did not hire me because I was inexperienced. So I felt I had to prove myself to my family. And who offered you this job? After hearing from a friend about the opportunity for quick earnings, I independently researched and began transporting migrants by car. Huh. So, I mean, he did it. You're guilty. So you're getting- but you have no criminal record, right? You have no criminal record. Done. But you're gonna have to catch the L, brother. What is this? Human trafficking? Ba 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 da 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 da. Where is human traff oh smuggling? Human trafficking. Eight year sentence. Dang, you're shocked, buddy, but it is what it is. You human trafficking is a charge. Clearly you're guilty and you're going to jail for eight years, bud. Court adjourned! Don't let me die. Come on. Woo. That thing is stressful every single time. There's nothing going on. I mean, I could go out and go Gamba. Let's go Gamba. <laughs> I'm playing Blackjack. You already know what it is. Give me some cards. Cards. A card. Oh! 21! Bitches. Of course. Of course I get 21 and we die. I'm so over this. Hit me. My wife's leaving me. It's confirmed. <laughs> She's gonna leave me. This is in fact the bread. The bread money. I can probably take another card. All right, I'm sobering up. My, 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 that bag I got from the homie is wearing off. So let's go to the bar. Cause I'm depressed. I need a drink. I just lost $400. Go outside, give me something to drink. I need a whiskey. Whiskey, please. I'll pay whatever you want. Anything else? So the more and more I drink, drink I get, I lose metal. Interesting. Interesting. No! I'm so scared right now!
Brother, what? Oh, the game was muted. You can't even hear it. There you go. Do y'all hear that banging? I'm about to get assassinated, bro. In the dark of the night, your sleep is interrupted by a sound of knocking on the door. Look through the hole. Nah! Pause the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year. So subscribe or you have halitosis. Call the police. What was that? Yo, we gotta move. I can't mentally come back and do this job after looking at that face. Oh, hell no. Yo, nah, I do not get paid. $900 a week ain't worth it, buddy. I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't worth it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so case subject. Damage lawsuit filled by Brooklyn Troys against the uh, multinational company that develops and sells Lipple. Consumer Electronics. Uh, so a burnt battery of the Lapol brand phone that belongs to the plaintiff. Okay. So recently a person named Brooklyn purchased a mobile phone from the dealer of Lapol company. Uh, he claimed that during the period of use, his phone was not charged with adapter other than its own charger. Okay. So it was only charged with its own charger. Got it. While using the phone, while it was charging the battery uh, inside, it exploded and caused physical damage around the ha right hand and face of Brooklyn. Okay. That's a serious. That's serious. Will Contrary, who reported the situation, um, did not receive the response he expected and filed a lawsuit for $500,000, okay? Uh, exactly two months ago, oh, two months and 13 days ago, my apology. I went to Lapel Dealer uh, near my house to buy a phone. I bought a model I liked and started using the phone. Uh, during this time, while using the phone, I never charged it with anything other than the charger that came in the box. While I was charging the phone, its battery suddenly exploded. In addition to the damage to my hand, part of my phone also hit my face. Afterwards, I called Appel, authorized service, and explained the situation. I expected at least an apology, but it was not what I expected. They told me that this was user error and hung up the phone. So I filed a lawsuit to do my right. Yeah, you did the right thing here. What are you chatting about, user error? Mika Bell, uh, we definitely do not hold ourselves responsible for this incident. Our product has been subjected to dozens of tests and our engineers have reported that it's not possible uh, to give such a reaction with the charger uh, with the current adapter or more powerful adapter. We believe this incident recurred as a result of transaction that the consumer did not report and in action designed and tarnished our brand. What? Transaction that the consumer did not report. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you mean like it's a fake? Is that what you're saying? Evidence of phone conversation between Brooklyn Troy's and the customer authorized the lapel authorized. Okay, Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany, can I ask your name so I can help you better? My name is Brooklyn Troy. The phone I bought from your dealer about two and a half months ago exploded in my hand. Can you explain how this happens? I'm sorry, did you say the battery exploded? Yes, even though I only used the adapter and charger cable that came in the box. That's not possible, Mr. Brooklyn. I think this is your fault. It cannot be from us. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, thanks, Tiffany. What do you mean it's not possible? It happened. Am I lying? Unfortunately, I can't help you. Have a nice day. The conversation concluded. <laughs> That's a crazy... That's a crazy conversation. She basically was like, nah. I can't help you, homie. That's nuts. All right, let's see what you got to say. Mr. Troy, uh, what happened? Well, the bell company said that they are that you are responsible for the incident. What do you think? What do you have to say? I can't agree with them on uh, agree with them on this. I explained to them in detail how the incident happened and what I went through. They didn't even ask for an explanation uh, or didn't even take my explanation into consideration. That's true. Not. I broke a choice. Stated in it. Wait, bro. My brain is starting not to be able to read. Uh, Brooklyn stated in a statement that you did not take him into consideration. Do you think this is the case? No, Your Honor. We are a reputable company uh, with high customer satisfaction. We didn't just we didn't think his statements were true because we put um, we put our product through dozens of tests. We stated that such an incident could only be due to customer error. Hmm. I mean, it looks like your phone, dude. What did it say? The conversation concluded. No other evidence. 
It for sure looks like your phone. All right. We're gonna pay him his money. Yeah, you owe him for his medical damages. Oh yeah, you're paying him his $500,000. Dude, that knock at the door actually has me super scared. Like, why were they knocking on my door like this? I'm trying to have a day with my family. This isn't good. At least we had no random guy knocking on our door. What the hell was that? No one's gonna explain it? Cause I'm terrified. Criminal record, yes, mental health positive, all right. What's good, Brad? Uh, so, assassination. We just keep the good cases coming, don't we? Uh, victims named Jeremy Elder and Mike Byrne were found dead in prison rooms. Oh, so you're already in jail. Damn. It was determined that the security cameras on the floor where the incident took place were not working in the time of the incident. Of course they were not working. They never work in the time of the incident. The person named Brad Cold, who stayed in the same room with the victims, was uh, brought to the police statement, police station for a statement. Why was he brought to the police station? Wouldn't they just question him in the prison? I'm um, only spent two days with them. I don't have any problem um, or fights. Like me, they spoke very little. Why would I kill them? If I were to do this, I wouldn't be in cell where they were, where there is room. Huh? Okay. Yo, um, mister, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, I have paid and am paying the penalty for my crime. I am not, uh, guilty in this incident. The reason I'm here is theft. I've never killed anyone in my life. The night they died, I slept before them. Even then, I heard a few voices during the night. I thought they were delirious as usual. Okay. What's the evidence, brother? This thing. Yeah. Two roses found the bodies. Okay, so there's what is with all this rose nonsense? I think this is the fourth murder that we've seen with a rose. And actually, this murder tool. There has to be like an organized gang or something going on here. Okay, what happened, Brad? Um, it makes sense, but you're the only eyewitness, so how do you explain this? Uh, this is the one of the prisons where prisoners are killed the most, and it's often unknown who did it. Do you think it's possible that the guards had a hand in this? Uh, you said you heard verses that night, that voices that night. Why didn't you get up and look? The first night I couldn't sleep until the morning uh, because of their delirium. I woke up and looked at everything. They were delirious. Uh, they seemed very calm. My sleep was disturbed for the last two nights. Um, I thought it was one of those nights where they were talking as usual. I didn't feel the need to wake up and look. Yo, honestly, I feel like something is happening. This doesn't look like he did it. Like, there's no fingerprints, no nothing. Just two roses. And his fingerprints aren't on any of the, the bodies. We have no camera, we have no nothing. Oh, I got an email. It was time to remind such big companies about the existence of consumer rights. You're a folk hero. Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, you're not guilty. No proof, no guilt. What? What are we chatting about? Not guilty. I mean, you're going back to prison, but. A thousand dollar salary? Hey, yo. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're rich. We're rich. It'd be making me know. Okay, I'm getting paid, but I need to pay back this loan, so. I have a $200 balance. How do I pay this off? Does it automatically take it out? Credit card debt. Yeah, okay, it automatically does. I'm not gonna withdraw money, honestly. Can I put money in? I can't.
Yeah, I don't need it. All right, what's good, family? What's wrong, daughter? Your daughter wants a smartphone from you as a birthday gift. The price is $700. Do you accept? No, you're not having a smartphone. A smartphone for $700, little girl? Absolutely not. I'm gonna go have a drink. $700? It's gonna hurt my mental. $120? No! Why is everything like doubled? Oh, you ripping people off! Nah, yo, I'm going to bed. Going to bed's free. Hell no. What was that mass face, y'all? It's freaking me out. Why were they there? I don't like this. <laughs> okay, so case subject. So Sally John Morgan sued his tenant Daisy Taylor to evict her for not paying rent on time. Okay, so legal action um, has been taken against Daisy by Sally uh, for being three months late on her rent. <sighs> Three months is deep. The host, Sally, says the tenant is in breach of the tenancy agreement. The host demands that the tenant vacate the property and pay the debts owed by the tenant. With hey, uh, my tenant has not paid a single penny for three months. Uh, even though I warned her many times, she kept stalling as if there were not enough. They constantly bring their friends to the house, make noises that disrupt the neighbors. I brought my neighbor who lives downstairs as a witness so that you can believe me on this matter. Okay, good men. Uh, whatever Mr. Morgan says is true. Okay, I do not believe you. <laughs> uh, it is true that I have not been able to pay uh, the landlord for a while, but I had to quit my job. I can't afford to pay right now. I told him that it's not an arbitrary situation and that I would pay him uh, when I received the unemployment benefits. However, he was trying to get me kicked out of the house uh, somehow. It's a complete lie that we make too much noise with my friends since my downstairs neighbor is a tenant of Mr. Morgan. He obeys his order. That's interesting information, but you still gotta pay your rent, girl. Unfortunately. So here's a tenant agreement. Daisy, Sally, okay, that's your evidence. So we really just be dealing with he said, she said stuff here. So it's like, where's the evidence? All this chit chatting, where's the proof? All right, Morgan. Is it true that Charles Goodman, your downstairs neighbor, who you call a witness, is your tenant? That's true, Your Honor, but I don't understand its relevance. You know damn well what it is. Mr. Goodman, is it true that your upstairs neighbors and their friend make too much noise that they disturb you? Sound? Noises? Oh, oh yes, I remember. Uh, Normandy codes. The voices are echoing my ears. Okay, well, the gunpowder sound of Someone get him some help. Get, get, get him some help. Whatever Mr. Morgan says is true. Someone get him some help. Uh, so, Mr. Taylor, why the hell did you drag this old senile, I think possibly veteran man from his co his comfy little home to lie in court? Did you do you know you're going to jail, Mr. Morgan? You're going to jail. Uh, Miss Taylor, you said in your statement that your landlord tried to get you evicted. Why is that? I mean, you didn't pay. Trying to evict me and raise rent, uh, but he can't do that because we have a contract. Normally, I would never miss my rent, but uh, getting this is getting fired. Thing. This nap is still not wearing off. Oh my gosh! Uh, wasn't fortunate for me. This played into his hands. I mean, you have to pay your rent, but also this has to be like lying in court, Mr. Morgan. Has to be a damn crime. Um, but also, you know what? Usually, I would say you can't, you know, like you can't not pay rent for three months. He has no land rights or whatever. But you know what? Fuck Mr. Morgan. Uh, we're gonna give her her break. Her debts, her debts postponed because fuck you. Board adjourned. I'll be worried. I'll be worried. I can't believe she asked me for it. Whatever it's called. Seven hundred dollar phone is crazy. Let's go Gamba. We'll do one Gamba, and if it works out well, two hundred dollars. Put on the table. Take my money. Why should give me your money? Hit me. Hit. Damn. 
Please ask. Okay, four hundred dollars. Four hundred so irresponsible. My fault. Hit me. Hit. Well, I'm getting divorced. It's over. Do not let me back in the house. Migrants who commit crimes will now get deported. Okay, easy peasy. Yo, what's good, Pooch? How you doing, girl? How was your day? Who is this? Yo, I'm broke. I need money. I gambled it away. I have a problem. Uh, national, national center. Wait, what does this stand? What is? Yes, means he's a citizen. Okay. Um, so participating in street racing violations of traffic si safety and okay. I mean, not good, but do we really have to bring it to court? Recently, traffic police came across a street race while on patrol and followed suspicious vehicles. After a long chase, a person named Connor had an accident with the vehicle he was driving. After the accident, he was taken to the hospital by traffic police, and after his treatment, he was arrested and detained. Except for Connor, no driver was caught by the police. Okay, so wait, so he was driving? First of all, I'm not a street racer. I have no connection with other vehicles. I was just passing by in my sports car. All I did was increase my speed to get away from the other vehicles as soon as possible. My only crime is that I was speeding and it had nothing to do with racing. Okay, Connor, let's tell the truth. Let's be honest, bud. We know what the truth is. You were out here. You were, you were fucking on it, weren't you? Like, yo. My car's better than yours, it's faster than yours, I got that engine, and you beat it. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. Know what you were damn doing. Okay, give me the evidence. Speed measurement, kilometers per hour. Bro, kilometers per hour? What is this? Where's the miles? I don't know what this means. Yo, I'm staring at this in American. What is this nonsense? I don't know what this means. Yo, where the Google at? Google. Alexa. Okay, Google. Kilometers to miles. Come on, somebody. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Not to meters, to miles. Meters are just as bad. Because it's 224. 139 miles per hour, bitch. What were you chatting? Yo, you're trying to die. 130 miles per hour is crazy. The license plate belongs to the vehicle, the vehicle located in the trunk. Okay, so we have the license plate. Is this your license plate? How am I supposed to tell if he's guilty? Y'all gave me no information. Y'all gave me some random ass papers. Like, I should just know this is his vehicle. Look, I was just on this, you know, we're chilling. I'm exhausted. I took a nap and chalked my shit. I'm ready to go back and nap. But to pass out. Is there a picture? Yeah, there's no picture. What was the point of this? Y'all be bringing me nothing to go off of. Okay, McGlynn, you say in your statement that you're not a streetcar racer. Why did you run away from the police? Your Honor, I thought the police stopped me because I was speeding. I ran away to avoid a ticket. A ticket. A ticket, brother. Come on now. Uh, you've been street racing in the past and got caught. Do you have an explanation about this? Your Honor, this time it was pure coincidence. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. Uh-huh. Uh, and why was your license plate inside the trunk of the car? Because I took my license plate off to get my car painted and I forgot to put it back on. Yo, y'all really just be chatting. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. Yo, Trazer, thank you so or Trazvar, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, just learned Asian your day was good. Dude, this don't even make any sense. What you mean? I my I was getting my car painted. I was I was afraid of a ticket. Like, brother, what's happening? So you do have a previous criminal record. You 100% did this. Um, let's see. What would this be? This would be... A traffic offenses. What is this? Participating in street racing. Uh, two years jail and a $15,000 fine. That's it. That's... 
That feels hefty. It does. But also take that, take that, take that. You are guilty. You get two years in prison and a 15. Carlos was caught in the forest house outside the city. Okay. Juan, uh, those responsible for the event are corrupt state and their collaborators, the mafia. They are the ones who force us to do this. Jerry and Mike, may they rest in peace. That's great. All right. What's the evidence? Digital evidence? Okay, let's see what it is. Photo of the cartel drawn by confessing cartel members. That looks like you for sure. That's definitely you, homie. Hoarding. Yes, sir, I'm listening to you. Okay. Go and destroy that parliament. Oh, wow. Sir, don't you think it would be... Since when have my orders been questioned? Oh, wow. Okay, sir, as you wish. It's not looking good, so you did it. I mean, you definitely admitted it. So do you regret causing such damage? No, I'm just sorry that I couldn't give the statesmen what they deserve. Okay, if you give solid information about the mafia you missed in your statement, we can take care of them after. Will you cooperate? No, I don't think so, but you should think about that this is the obvious high rate statesmen are corrupt. Okay. Well, you're, tech basic you're definitely going to jail. Organized crime. This is a terrorism attack. So you get 16 years and you have a criminal record, do you not? You do, so that's 24 years in jail. Crimes against the state, high treason, here we go. 80 years. Execution. Wow. Welp. One, you're chalked. Guilty. You're getting 80 years. And, oh, you're getting, oh, you just get executed right away. All right, GG's. Bye-bye. I thought you used to get like a jail sentence, but they said, nah, it's over. Damn. GG's. Oh, what's good? Oh! I can click on it. What are we dealing with? What is this? All right, uh, filing a compensation lawsuit against Robin Hudson who caused Henry to have a traffic accident. Okay, there's one digital evidence. I got you. So Henry William will allegedly pushed in, uh, was allegedly pushed into the area by Robin while he was riding his motorcycle in traffic, causing him to have an accident. After the accident, Henry remained in a coma for 42 days. Wow. Henry Williams demands $250,000 from Robin as material and moral compensation for the pain he experienced. So Henry. I was driving my motorcycle in traffic. I wanted to overtake the vehicle in front of me. She started to approach me while I was overtaking her. I got stuck in the barrier and suddenly lost the balance of my motorcycle and rolled over. The only thing I remember afterwards was that I was in great pain. I think she did this on purpose because she didn't even stop and help after cause this. She didn't even stop and help is crazy. She started to approach me while I was overtaking her. I don't even know what this means. I was driving my own name in traffic. I was very stressed because I found out that my mother was hospitalized and I was trying to get to the hospital as soon as possible. My mother has cancer and her condition is serious. I didn't notice that this was happening during the accident. The motorcycle must have been in my blind spot. I later learned that I was being taken to court. If I had noticed the accident, I would definitely have stopped and helped. I did not violate any traffic rules. I don't think it's my fault. Okay, do we have any, they said there's one digital evidence. Well, I'ma be honest, controversial. This looks like the motorcyclist's fault. How are you doing this loop-de-loop-de -loop thing trying to overtake her and she's our, yeah, you, yeah, this is on you. This is on you, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. All right, let's hear what y'all gotta say. Mr. William, you realize you were violating the car. Yeah, you were violating the car. Line. Your Honor, I even hawked my home before she overtook. There's no way she didn't see me. What obsessed me is she could have killed me, but chose to flee the time to accident. Uh, Miss Hudson, it's highly unlikely that you didn't know the motorcyclist in your life. Wait. Right. Miss Hudson, it's highly unlikely that you did not notice the motorcyclist is in your left rear mirror at the time of the incident. Didn't you at least hear a sound? 
Your Honor, at the moment, I was totally thinking about my mother. I was in the left lane, so I didn't need to look into the left mirror. Uh, I didn't hear the sound because the windows were closed. I mean, you can hear the sound, but there's a lot of sound in your drive. All right, I think I have my decision. Uh, you're not getting any money. You're not getting paid anything. Court adjourned. That's crazy. Overtaking, all this yada yada, blada blada. You're done. Oh, I guess we do have time for one more. Split. We're kind of making good progress. Go to the next case. Judge Leventus provi pro provides precise pay. Also provide, you know. Yeah, what's good, Nathan? Let's see, no criminal record. Good, everything else is looking good. Involuntary manslaughter. All right. Um, so Gambin, or get what? The person named took his baby who was having difficulty breathing to the hospital, okay? After the MRI, it was seen that there was a metal object in the baby's stomach. Nathan, the baby's doctor, said that the object should be removed surgically. Okay. The surgery was performed with the family's approval, and Nathan stated to the family that the surgery went well. The baby experienced breathing difficulty sometime after the discharge and died less than 24 hours. As a result of the autopsy, a gauze that was forgotten during the surgery was found in the baby's stomach. Wow. The autopsy report confirmed that the baby died as a result of the forgotten gauze. Uh, thereupon, the baby's father, Gambin, filed a complaint against the doctor, Nathan. That's serious, dude. We realized that our baby was having difficulty breathing. We went to the hospital. Nathan Lake, who was a doctor there, told us that an MRI was needed. After the MRI results, the doctor said that our baby had a metal object in his stomach and needed to be operated on immediately. After the surgery, he said that it was a very successful surgery. When we came home shortly after our baby was discharged, he realized that our baby could not breathe again. We tried to take him to the hospital again, but it was too late. Uh, when we got there, I asked for an autopsy report because I was curious about the cause of death. Uh, curious about the... Hold on. Thing, I was curious about the cause of death of your baby is a crazy thing to say. I'm not curious about it. I demand to know. What the hell? What an interesting choice of words. I learned that the cause of death was the gauze left in my baby's stomach during the surgery. I filed a complaint. Okay. First of all, I accept my mistake and I'm very sorry this incident happened. When I learned that the baby died as a result of my carelessness, I could not come to my senses for a long time. I don't care about the punishment I will receive. My only wish is for his family to forgive me. I am distraught. I understand that. This is a very unfortunate situation. There is the gauze. Poor baby. What does this even fall under? Like, what do we even call this? First of all, I see that you've taken responsibility by mistake. Uh, could you please explain the situation? Before the surgery, I had an argument with my wife. We possessed it. Uh, we were in the process of divorce. Uh, I mustn't do the surgery, but there was no other doctor in the hospital. I found out that only I could do the surgery. I went. It went well, but I didn't realize I left causes with the baby's stomach. I desperately hope that the family will forgive me. Yeah, I don't even know. So this is technically what? A homicide crime? Involuntary manslaughter? For years. I don't know how I feel about this. What usually happens to doctors? Like if a doctor... Let's see. Since... Oh, I don't even know what to charge this. Oh, yeah, you can face up to... Yeah, wow. You could face up to 20 years in prison. Dang. Yeah, including leaving surgical things into a patient. Well, what was the law here? Dude, you're done. Four years? It, four years doesn't feel right to me. The thought of putting the, you in jail with actual murderers, I don't like. But you did... Unfortunately, you gotta go. I'll, I'll reduce your sentence to two years. Let's go! I need that money. Cause my wife is. Yo, where do I get bribed? Where's my bribe money? Oh, I'm going to jail. That's so loud, too. Goodness. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been arrested. I failed the dice roll. Blah, blah, blah. So annoying. I don't, I don't like that. This is. I don't like things like this. 
Because I get it, I really do. But man, does it suck. I'm still only giving, I'm still gonna give you half the time. $1,400, come on dice roll, don't screw me this time. Wow. It keeps giving me a game over. Brother, read dice roll. Stop all this nonsense. Goodness gracious. Fine, if I give him the four years where you shut up. There. Come on, dice roll, don't screw me. Goodness. Okay, we're getting some money balance. Perfect. Yeah, I don't need any money on me. What? If I do this, I go bankrupt. I don't have money on me. Yeah, I don't have money on me, girl. Why is everything a thousand dollars? Yeah, thank. Why is everything a thousand dollars? Can't y'all just ask for a few hundred all today? A little honey bun here and there. Oh wow, it's the Joker. It's the Joker. What's good, David? No criminal record. You're crazy though. Okay. Armed robbery. So recently, a person named David Crane entered the pharmacy where Mary uh, worked, pointed a gun at her head, and demanded money in the safe. Mary gave the money uh, to the safe to Dave and then informed the police. Not long after, Dave was caught and taken into custody uh, at the house of his brother, Victor. Uh, and so, Mary's statement. Uh, he quickly came to the pharmacy and headed to the counter. Even though the weather was hot, I noticed that he was wearing a thin coat. When he came to the counter, he immediately pulled out a gun and said to me, if you love your life, give me the money. Uh, then he took the money I gave him, hit the shelves, and ran away. Immediately after the incident, I notified the police. And I didn't do anything. Why are you arresting me? He apologized for what he did. And don't you understand? He did? Okay. Everything he told me to do was for our good. We can't lose him. He needs the money and those um, after him. Uh, I need to see my brother. I need to make sure my brother's okay. I haven't been uh, sure about this for a long time. I haven't been able to be with you. For my brother is mentally unstable. I woke up in the hospital the day they beat me because I owed money. When I woke up, David was with me, even though I was sure that I had not informed anyone. I asked how he knew. He told me to come here. He said to me two days later, he brought me uh, some money to pay off my debt, but he didn't thought it. I didn't think he was crazy enough to commit robbery. Please don't punish David. Dang. Okay, let's see the the what is this? puzzle there's the gun sure no fingerprints okay um uh, mental health medication what evidence in digital evidence okay what's in digital evidence? all right he definitely did stick it up that's true but you are mentally insane so you do get to go to uh insane asylum yeah you get to get treat no penalty don't worry you're gonna get you the help that you need It be stressing me, it be stressing me. Okay, next week I'm pulling out money. Oh, right, what did I pull this up? I'm in the other file. Alright, so Tommy, non compliance with the contract with JJ Richardson uh, of the Holy Paper Publishment House. Okay. 
So Tommy was, uh, has made an agreement with the publishing house called Holy Paper to publish his book, The Helplessness of Words, uh, which he released two months ago. According to the agreement, he declared that he would pay $250,000 to J.J. Richardson if the book did not reach 10,000 sales within two As of now, the book has sold 10,000 to, or, well, to, okay, over 10,000 copies. Um, but it had been proven by the publishing house that the book um, has received more than 300 copies on behalf of his sister, Ashley Cooper. <laughs> Interesting. In this case, J.J. Richardson demanded Tommy Cooper to pay his debt. Ashley Cooper, Tom Cooper's sister, is the witness of this case. Okay. So Ashley did buy 300 books in her name. Does that breach contract, though? <laughs> Ultimately sold 10,000. You didn't say in the contract that Ashley Cooper shouldn't buy books. That's what I was about to say. We didn't specify, Your Honor, but this is pure fraud. If he had not made his sister buy the books 200 times, it would not have exceeded the stated sale. Thank you. Mr. Cooper, did your brother tell you to buy the books? Your Honor, my brother just informed me that his book is out. I wanted to buy a large quantity to support him and to give a gift to be a... Okay. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he did, you didn't, you didn't stipulate this. You're gonna have to pay him money. You're gonna have to give him the money, Mr. Richard. To pay your contract. Or adjourned. Or adjourned. All rise type shit. I'm always going to jail, why? Yo, my probability is chalk. They be putting my ass in prison every week now. Excuse me, family. Gonna go redo this case right quick. You're paying this money regardless, Jim. Give him his $250,000. Run his money, run his check, run his stack. Give him his money. Fat pockets, big daddy money. Well, okay, I don't understand this. So if I do, hold on, I need to check if I do this again. If I do this again, will it reload or is it increasing my probability? Because that could be the case. I also don't know how my probability got so high, per se. But... Okay, so if it does it three times, and we know this action is, is causing it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. Perfection. There we go. Yeah. Case three. Oh lord. Wait, what is this? Wow! Not me getting a death threat. You know we're gonna have to test this. If Sergey receives any punishment, know this, Judge. I will not show you the light of day. This is my first and only warning to you. Think right and make the right decision. Is your shitty life really worth everyone else? Or is it worth living? All right. Um... <laughs> Oh, I can take money and bribe you to lower that? Okay, comp. Um, okay, Sergey, what did you do? You're not a- you have no criminal history. Everything else is looking good. Assassin and high treason. Wow. Uh, so recently a person named Merg was involved in an accident with her own vehicle on that scene. Merg was completed- uh, completed her shift at the company, um, called Lind Cup. Um, and sent out to her home with her own vehicle. Uh, while she was driving, a truck came from the opposite lane and crashed into the vehicle of the person. During the investigation carried out by the police arriving at the scene, a crowbar was found in Merge Blitz's vehicle. The driver of the pickup truck involved in the accident could not be found. The bag that should have been in the vehicle containing important government information could not be found. As a result of the autopsy performed on the person uh, named Merg, it was concluded that she did not die at the time of the accident and that she was killed with the help of a crowbar found at the scene. As a result of detailed investigation, it was determined that the driver of the truck involved in the accident was not person Sergey. As a result, the long efforts that person named Sergey was caught and detained uh, at the airport before he went abroad. 
I am not guilty. I went to the airport just to see my family who lives abroad. I have nothing to do with this incident. Please release me. I have no reason to commit this kind of crime. I can't even hurt an ant, let alone kill a person. I never understand why people say that, because I'll kill an ant. Like, why are you really doing the most for no reason? The fact that you said that makes me skeptical. It makes me hella skeptical. So let's just, I guess we'll go talk about it. So this one, top to bottom. This goes down. And this cross. And this, this here. All right. Crowbar, uh, 21252. 12. 1352? Hold on. Oh, 1352. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you did it. You murdered this girl. Uh, oh, here's the number. Uh, what is the situation? I have the bag now. How do we get the offer? As we talked about, 50 million. I'm on it. You have a meeting place. Wait to hear from us. Yeah, so you were trying to sell the information. Yeah, you did this. And this is considered, what is this considered? Reason, high crime, assassination and high treason. Okay. Uh, 62 years in jail. 62 years. And high crime, crime against the state. I hear you. You're getting 162. 162 years. Brother, you're chalked. You're actually ever leaving. <laughs> I said, I couldn't quit my job yet. He said, yet I still have hope. Fuck it. You're like, I'm out. I'm not doing it anymore. This shit's ass. Why did you run away from the accident uh, in fear and panic of the incident? I wanted to flee the scene because I'm not sure if the person in the vehicle is alive. Uh-huh. So why are you trying to flee abroad with the bag that was supposed to be in the vehicle? I found the bag next to the garbage container opposite to my house. And since it looked very nice, I want to take the bag to my family. Brother, you're clearly going to jail for 62, 162. You're done, kid. Guilty, jail, 162 years. This you made. Now, let's see if I get run, run up and done up. Because he said that they're going to kill me. So let's see. I got a raise. Dude, the amount of times I get arrested is... I have to pay for this to get down. I have to pay it down. Goodness. It's so annoying. Why do I keep dealing with this? You already know what you're- you're going to jail. You're going to jail for a very long time. You're actually never leaving. Let's get through this again. Playing drinks for money don't sound like me tomorrow, dude. It's a week. Work is just not sounding good. Okay, are they gonna kill me? I'm pulling all my money because clearly I need it. Ask me first. I draw my mind. I'll try that. Oh, I have 1200 That's a pretty that's a pretty penny. Alright, people. I'm gonna go pay off a judge. First, let's go get a drink. Four four hundred and ten dollars is crazy, by the way. Um actually crazy. Look at this. Possibility of arrest. I believe assassination is nuts. I need 20 more dollars, dude. 
Release Winston Grinnell, accept the $750 we'll give you. If you accept this offer, the rest of the money will come and you will live a very comfortable life. What did you do? No criminal record. Corruption. During the illegal prostitution and gambling raid carried out by the police at the hotel called Palace of George Knight, uh, Winston was caught in the same hotel with many mafia members, which is known to be one of the high-ranking managers of the mafia. Mafia member who were in the room were arrested, um, but Frederick, one of the high-ranking managers of the mafia, committed crime of his own. And the scene. Seven women thought to be prostitutes, drugs, weapons, and a million dollars worth of cash were seized in a hotel room. Y'all were just in a room together, though. No one died. I don't know why I'm in the hotel room. Earlier, I was drinking at the bar. Okay, I was feeling drunk. I'm a member of parliament. You are uh, this to serve us as police. How dare you question me and keep me... First of all, that's crazy. There must be a plot against me. Um. Okay, so this man clearly did it. I actually don't even care what's being said. They tried to set me up. Nah, my man went to a hotel for hookers and blow. That's what happened. Something he was trying to get a little, a little mouth huggy, and got caught slipping. And that happens to the best of us. But what we're not gonna do is pretend I'm your hired help. All right, sir. Uh, he's not the first man, ain't the last. As long as I'm getting cash, they can have his ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care what you're saying. You said $750, I stopped paying attention. Give me my money. Yo, this evidence? I don't see this as compelling evidence. What's wrong with the little, with the little mouth huggy? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't see nothing wrong. I don't see nothing wrong. This is why I need the money. I need the money. I'm t I need to lower it. I'm tired of this nonsense. Where my money at? Yo, my money not my account. Yo, that's it. That's it. Yo, bring his ass back. Nah, nah, nah. That man guilty. I saw. I saw. There, there was a baggie in that pocket. He had a baggie. Get his ass back in here. My money not here. Get a baggie. He had a baggie. Get his ass. Damn, I got scared. It's crazy.